Hello, I hope you're doing great. Today we are going to talk about a cool sample that the Microsoft team talked about in .NET Conf yesterday. Now, one of the cool features or the cool things that you can now do in Blazor is that you can reuse the components inside your Angular and React applications. Now, a little disclaimer, that is not officially supported by Microsoft yet. It is, as far as I understood, a cool sample to let you know about the cool things that you can do. So you could probably take that as a base and create your own code and structure and enhance your React and Angular applications with um, Blazor components. Now, before we continue, please remember to visit fairplaytooth.pticostarica.com, click the Buy Me a Coffee icon, and in here you can select a donation of your preference. This will allow us to keep the videos and products free for you. Okay, so let's start. So you can see that in here I have this small application. This is the sample application that it is on the github repository for the spinet you see that it has a button like add blazer counter right that you can keep adding it you can remove blazer counter right if you click it you can modify the parameters and let's see if we can navigate to see what those things are you see this is a component this is an angular application by the way this is a component you see it says like ng reflect title etc etc a lot of things custom object right it has the status let's see increment number 13 right and it has like increment amount number 13 complex object string value hello integer 34 which is this one right uh, click me that clicks and if you invoke the callback okay remove uh -huh. click callback right we have the buttons modify callback remove okay you have a lot of things now the cool thing is not really that it's how it is developed this is the Visual Studio solution for the code generation. So you will see that it has three projects. One project is a small website which only has the counter.razor code with the CSS library. The counter razor code or the file, one of the things that you should notice is that it has these um, attributes attributes generate angular and generate react remember that when you are using attributes when you use them visual studio will usually remove the attribute suffix but the class itself it's going to be suffix with that so you see generate the actual class its name generate angular attribute and it is on the namespace gas component generation dot angular dot generate angular attribute right uh, same for this one now so let's go what those let's go and see what those attributes do so we have in here the angular folder and here we have the generate angular attribute so this attribute does not do anything however the only thing that it does is basically it's just an attribute in everything from attribute and it specifies that the attribute uses usage it's going to be only for classes right you can only pretty much you can only use this attribute as an attribute for a class not a property nor, nor any other thing now we have this generate attribute so you should see that in the start pro in the program or in yeah in the program um preparation the startup.cs or the program.cs basically where you have the builder you will have these something like this root components at uh, use register for angular and register for react 
both of these basically what will take is um, they will have an extension method right and the extension method will usually get the give up case and will invoke the configuration register for JavaScript using the time name with a suffix so you see type name give up slash um, dash react and in this case angular so that's that now okay but then how is this attribute used besides use protein in a class okay that's something that we should know so if you inspect the solution you will see that this one is used in here it's um, let's see where it's been used attribute generate attribute public class generate components generate angular components okay where it's been used so let's see not in here yeah what I wanted to do is this one okay so you'll see that in here we have generate angular components right this generate angular components has this generate angular attribute and see what it does this is generate angular components right it has an execute method which basically gets the dll right then it gets the component names basically using this racer component reader dot read with attribute from assembly right and you pass the actual attribute that you want to read right this racer component reader it's a custom class that they created now then you see that it gets the file it gets the destination folder it gets the destination path right then it does a file copy of this in this source path from here to this one right blazor component right it creates this component this is the folder and it is this now iterates through the descriptors and you can see that it uses this angular component writer and uses or writes the actual component descriptor inside the JavaScript component output directory this angular component writer it's basically a custom class they created that retrieves the information for the for the um, basically creates the JavaScript time names that they wanted it uses the kebab case for the controller to get the angular component name and you will see that in here actually they have a small template of the angular component and it will start replacing the values in the template with the actual code that you have in your um, razor component right so basically one of the things it does is it goes and read your razor file your razor component it translates that into an angular component and copies copies it in the actual project where you have it so you will see that for example if I open this source and we have this app we have this counter this counter it's actually a created blazor uh, blazor component translated into an angular component with that sample code one of the things that you will see is that it says it is a counter component extends something called blazor adapter component And in Blazor comp adapter component, we basically have a class that has all of the functionality 
to kind of bind or prepare the actual blazer component, right? So this is a cool and interesting way to have your um, blazer components reusable in Angular or as an Angular or React components. So let's say that, for example, you have already built 10, 20 Blazor component libraries, right? And now for some reason, you are doing a lot of Angular applications and you find that you had already implemented a lot of the logic you need in those components in the previous projects that you did, but they are in other technology. So instead of rewriting all of those components into Angular components, you can basically use some tool like this to pretty much reuse what you already have. Now, the sample, it's basically just a sample. It's probably very limited and probably the more complex your component is, um, it, may, it may have some issues the way the samples are at the moment, but they are a good start for you to kind of um, be able to create that interesting logic, right? So remember that one of the things that we have to, or that is really smart to do in software is try to not duplicate your code and save everything into libraries, in Nougat packages, in, MP, in NPM, right? Uh, in any place that you can just reuse it, right? But in here you can also use the technique of pretty much translate your existing components in components that you can have in your Angular. And then probably you can also modify the Angular or extend them. So it's really, really good. Um, I'll put the link to those samples in the video description in my YouTube channel and in Fair Play too, so you can actually visit it and see how it works. It is really, really good. Thank you very much. Have a great day, and let's go and watch .NET Conf.